is full of alpha theory, even though it's been disproven. Alpha theory and step dance, what's going on? I saw a guy walking down the street, a big old muscly dude wearing a skin tight black t-shirt, written across it in big white letters. It said, alpha. He was an intimidating presence, but he had a tiny little dog that was pulling him all over the sidewalk. A better man wouldn't have pointed at him and laughed, but that's what I did. In his defense, perhaps that dog would have behaved better if he knew how to read. You think I'm not an alpha? You want me to take off my hoodie? Do you realize how much back hair I have? I am over 80% mustache. I'm like two Burt Reynolds, scotch taped together back to back. That's how much alpha I am. I haven't had an emotion since 2003. But that is not what trains my dogs. Alpha theory, for those of you who don't know, uh, comes from a study of wolves that noticed that this group of wolves followed the biggest, strongest wolf and thought that that's, hey, that's how wolf packs organize themselves. This has been disproven by the same guy that came up with it. Upon further study, he noticed that wolves just kind of adapt to the situation. Sometimes it's an older wolf, sometimes it's a big strong wolf, sometimes it's a lady wolf, sometimes it's a team of wolves. Daddy daddy, daddy mommy, cub wolf, whatever, whatever's clever, man. The world's D-bags really picked up on alpha theory because it means that leadership doesn't go to the most competent or the most kind or the most experienced. It goes to the person who's a born leader, and that's me. Leaders are not born, they are made. You're already your dog's leader. You provide the food, you provide the shelter, you provide the structure, you make the lights turn on and off as if you are a god. You decide what time they go out and what time they come home. The deck is really stacked in your favor. Like, dogs, if you can fake confidence a little bit, a dog will believe you. If you believe in alpha theory and your dog misbehaves, you believe your dog is calling you weak, and every decision you make based upon that is wrong. Leadership takes many forms. It's not what leadership looks like, it's what your form of leadership looks like. Got some whores in this house. Got some whores in this house. See, certified freak, seven days a week, that's too much freak. I can see you wanting that as a younger man, but being an older man, I now realize way, way too much freak. How about certified freak three or four days a week, one day for chores, and then that's two days for yourself. That's a good freak life balance. Four tips for grabbing a dog's attention. Number one, make sure all basic needs are met. Are they fed? Are they watered? Are they hurting? No? Good. You're in charge. Be clear, especially in the beginning. Make sure you are consistent and that you are providing clarity to the dog as much as you can. As the relationship develops, you can be less precise, but in the beginning, clarity is kindness. Three, develop a reputation with your dog. When your dog does something, acknowledge it. Good, bad, provide feedback. What that feedback looks like depends on the dog book you're reading, but you can do it. Four, do your best to fake confidence. Stand up straight, speak once. Maybe confidence will actually happen. Whores in this house, got some whores in this house. Certified freak, make your pullout game weak. Why would you want a weak pullout game? You are not my opponent in the pullout game. We are on the same team. Who's gonna raise these children? Not me, I'm barely alive after seven days of hardcore and your mother doesn't have time for you, her pussy's much too wet. No! You know when I try squirrel?
when it's marked 6.59 in the grocery store. When I can go into a restaurant and there's a squirrel tank. <laughs> they should have that at soul food restaurants. Like, I want that one. He's a fighter. <laughs> and I can tell. Hello. <laughs> this, can I help you? Do you know Stella by Starlight? Is the, are we going to have a... No. No, I'm not going to be quiet because I, because I have a microphone in my hand. And I realize you're pretty and blonde. And I'm going to tell you this out of the most love. But your opinions aren't all that good. 